Here we have the infinite series 4 divided by n times n plus 2, and we want to show that this infinite series converges to uh, 3. And so first we need to decompose the uh, fraction 4 divided by n plus 2. So 4 divided by n plus 2, 4 dividing by n times n plus 2 is the same as 4 dividing by the factor n plus the, the same as the constant a dividing by the factor n plus the constant b dividing by the factor n plus 2. And to add these two fractions, we can, we can cross multiply, so we get a times n plus 2 and then plus b times n and then dividing by the product of the two denominators, natives. so dividing by n times n plus 2. And so here we have the denominator on the left side and on the right side, they're the same, and therefore the two numerators have to be the same. And now to figure out what a and b are, look at the factor next to the constant a and think of something that we can put here that will make this zero. So we let n be negative 2, then in the place of n we have negative 2, negative 2. Negative 2 plus 2 is 0, so we get negative 2b, and then dividing both sides by negative 2, we get b to be negative 2. And so now we need to figure out what a is, then look at the factor next to the, the constant b, and think of something that we can put here to make this quantity right here zero, so we can let n be zero. So if n is zero, then in the place of n we have zero, zero. Zero times b is zero, and right here we get 2a, and then dividing both sides by 2, we get a to be 2. And so now we have a is 2, b is negative 2. And so the infinite series of uh, 4 dividing by n times n plus 2 is the same as 2 over n plus negative 2 over n plus 2. And the sum of the first 10 terms, when n is 1 we get 1 here, when n is 1 we get 3 here, when n is 10 we get 10 here, and then when n is 10 we get 12 here. So the sum of the first 10 terms is 2.65. The sum of the first 100 terms is 2.96. These are called partial sums. Partial sums. The sum of the first 1000 terms is 2.99. The sum of the first 10,000 terms is 2.9996. The sum of the first 100,000 terms is 2.99996. And so from this pattern right here, it looks like as n gets larger and larger and larger, the sequence, this is called the sequence of partial sums, approaches 3, meaning the limit of S of k as k approaches infinity, is 3. And so that's just by looking at the pattern of uh, sequence, just by looking at the sequence of partial sums. And now let's go uh, find s sub k, or the sum of the first k terms, and then we can show that the limit of s sub k is equal to 3. And here's s sub k, and so when n is 1, we get 1 here and we get 3 here. When n is 2, we get 2 here and 4 here, so 2, 4. When n is 3, we get 3 and 5, so 3, 5. 
and uh, so on. And so when N is 8, we get A here and we get 10 here. And now let's get to the K, K uh, term. So when N is K, then we get K here and we get K plus 2 here. So K and K plus 2. And then the term before this one, it became minus 1. So it, uh, in the place of N, we put K minus 1. So here we have K minus 1, and then K minus 1 plus 2 is K plus 1. And then the term before is K minus 2. And so we put K minus 2 here and K minus 2 here. And so we get K minus 2, and then K minus 2 plus 2 would be just K. And then the term before that, it became minus 3 and K minus 1. And then before that is K minus 4 and K minus 2. And then one more before it, and then it's K minus 5 and K minus 3. And the reason we need so many of these is because this uh, pattern is a little bit difficult to see. What's left and what's, uh, what gets cancelled? And so this is the first eight terms right here. And so let's see what uh, we can cancel and what uh, remains. And so for the first eight terms, the sum of the first eight terms, we can see that the negative two-thirds and positive two-thirds would be zero. And then negative two-fourths and, two, and positive two-fourths and then negative two-fifths and positive two-fifths, negative two-sixths, and positive two-sixths, and then negative two-eighths, and positive two-eighths. And so we get the uh, two here, and we get the uh, two over one, two over two, and then we get the second half of the last term, and then we get the second half of the term before that. And so for S of 10, It'd be similar, so it'd be that and that out, and then we have negative two-fourths and positive two-fourths, and then negative two-fifths and positive two-fifths, and then negative two-sixths, and so on. And the two-eighths. And so we also get the uh, 2 over 1 and the 2 over 2, and then the uh, second half of the last term, the, and then the uh, second half of the term before that. And therefore for S of K, we will get 2 over 1, we will get 2 over 2, and then the last, the second half of the last term of the kth term, and then the second half of the k minus 1 term. And so the infinite series, uh, 4 divided by n times n plus 2, is the limit of s of k as k approaches infinity, but s of k is 2 over 1 plus 2 over 2 plus negative 2 over k plus 1 plus negative 2 over k plus 2. And these two terms here will go to 0 as k approaches infinity. And so what's left is 2 plus 1, which is 3. And therefore, this infinite series here converges to 3.